We're Alabama's 8. It's 10 o'clock. This is Action 8 News at 10 o'clock. A fresh look at today's news and a first look at tomorrow's with Leighton Spann, Tom Conway in the Weather Center, and Rich Haney with Central Alabama Sports. Good evening. We want them dismissed. This is what the New York-based National Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression requested today. Reduce the number of alcohol-related problems among the airmen, many of whom turn to drinking due to boredom or loneliness. President Ronald Reagan's new proposed tax reform program could cost you more money. Edward L. Addison, president of the Southern Company, says it will cost Alabama Power Company more, therefore you more. Cut by $150 million a year by the proposed tax plan. Learning to deal with the legislature and political involvement. This is the theme given to the Alabama Peacemakers Association by State Senator John Teague. Teague maintains that the only way to deal with government is through unity on organization. He points to one group which has learned over the years how to get politically involved. That's your mortgage rates going down. Um, and I uh, have read in several places that they will probably drop uh, slightly below 12 percent. The present mortgage market reflects interest rates dropping into the 12 to 12 and one half range for 30-year conventional fixed-rate loans. Now, the fixed-rate loans have regained their popularity with the decrease in mortgage rates. Consumers who are interested in investing their money wisely can now look before they leap. As our Lisa Holmes reports, now they can secure their assets. On this broadcast, some important information for pet owners. But first, part one of a closer look at the state of mental health care in Alabama. Your All-American Auto Dealer for Central... As we focus on the early 1970s at Bryce Hospital. Osteoporosis is now the 12th leading cause of death in this country. Our Dr. Dean Adele has explained to us that this is a condition which affects one out of every four women over the age of 45. Tonight we have more on this bone-thinning disease. And it may have rabies. Now, during the summer, rabies vaccinations will be given in every county in Alabama. Our Steve Smith tells us that Dallas County pet owners are huh. looking for some substantial rainfall to cool everything off, but I'm afraid Tom Conway doesn't have very good news for us. Well, Lurton, there's a slight chance, just a slight chance of some uh, changes in the weather by the weekend, but uh, we'll have to get through a couple of really scorching hot days before that. It was 97 today in central Alabama, and at least a couple of more days of really hot weather coming up. We'll talk more about that and about something new called the heat index when we come back in a moment. Tweak on anything for money. Will he put his best face forward? Oh, no, I'm not going to push your face. What do I have to find? There's a ring in there. Would you croon a tune to a baboon? i give you $10, ma'am, if you get in there and calm him down. $10. Will he strip to his bare briefs? You're getting down to my roots now. That's what you're doing. Join the hilarious fun catching on the laughs on anything for money. America's most embarrassing game show, weekdays at 5. Alabama's bout with this unusual late spring heat wave will continue until at least midweek, but there's a small glimmer of hope for some relief around Friday or Saturday. Meanwhile, a heat alert from the health department continues with temperatures forecast in the upper 90s through Wednesday. The National Weather Service has come up with something new called a heat index. Now, that's similar to the wind chill factor that we talk about during the winter months. The heat index is figured from the temperature and the shower or two where you live. All right, well, Tom, while we're trying to cope with a heat wave here in central Alabama, residents in central Pennsylvania are continuing to clean up from to be high on the picket lines in front of the Big Apple's poshest hotels. For example, outside the Waldorf Astoria, workers there threw eggs at cars trying to enter. And at other locations, the striking workers complained that eggs, bottles, and clothing were thrown at them from hotel windows. Tonight, the president of the Hotel and Motel Trades Council emphasizes that his union is willing to return to the bargaining table until a solution is reached. Well, no strikes in sports to talk about tonight, but a crucial game for the Birmingham Stallions in the USFL. <laughs> and you know, Layden, the USFL plays a long 18-game regular season. Game number 15 tonight in Houston for the Birmingham Stallions figured to be tough, and it was, as you'll see next on Action 8 Sports.
in Montgomery, near Maxwell, on Air Base. At 6 with the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather, all night with CBS News Night Watch, weekday mornings on the CBS Morning News, and Sunday morning, a program I work on every Sunday morning at 8. Join us for news and features Sunday morning here on Alabama's 8. Coach Raleigh Dodgers Birmingham Stallions tonight had to win on the road to remain in undisputed possession of first place in the U.S. 15 innings won this game from the Giants 4-2 in San Francisco. The Mets tied right now. It was 2-2. It's now 4-4 in the ninth inning with the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Two other National League games tonight. Astros trail the Cardinals now 8-1 in St. Louis. That's in the seventh inning. Phil's just starting against the Padres out in San Diego. In the American League, the Mariners lead the Tigers 9-7 now. Now, Mariners 9, Tigers 7, 8th inning in Detroit. Well, if uh, you haven't been in an automobile showroom lately, you're in for a surprise, and we're not talking about sticker shock. The story is next on Action 8 News tonight. Alabama's 8, but first Tom has a final word about the forecast. Late and hot again tomorrow, and in fact hot for the next couple of days. Uh, 98 or so tomorrow, maybe 100, and a heat index of 110. So stay inside if you can. All right, or find a swimming pool. Well, thank you for watching. Join us again tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Twenty-four hours a day, we're WAKA.